I see that I didn't see any movement once I got to my corner. Moving forward, so I started moving forwards. Why didn't you take two corners? Uh, well, I saw the other threats from the door. What's that? I saw the other threats, I figured if I was going to go all the way down, you would have to shoot at the wall. And that's fine. You don't see him going, then you go. Yeah. It's totally fine as long as somebody, as long as two people don't go deep. Yeah. Last well, I figured if I was going to go through here, I didn't want to round to go through one of the targets in me. As soon, yeah. Once I got pretty deep over here and I started seeing him start to traverse further into the room, I just thought to myself like, I hope to God he sees me right now. But I was just like, I, all, I'm, all I focused on was just clearing my corner right here and just... That's what it, I, we're not seeing it now, but the fucked up part about center bed rooms yeah. is when you're shooting live. Yeah. It's really against what your brain wants to do to go deep. Even if you're supposed to go deep, it's just when your buddies are shooting live, you know, two feet away from you, it just, it doesn't feel right. Yeah. And, uh, and that's why um, it's just something that's hard to get used to. And especially it gets probably hairier once it's a small room and all four of no, you guys. I'm saying. Take this room and shrink it by about less, by about 60%. Yeah, fuck, actually, probably even 70%. And this is a huge, this would be considered a huge room. Yeah. So one, once you take it down to about, actually about 25, 30% of this size, you really see how, how it throws people off on who's going deep and things like that. And watching your sectors of fire. Yeah, exactly. It just it, everything is magnified. Okay. Give a squeeze from the back. Enter. Yeah, it's still, dude. You wanted to go first. You would have. Oh, I, was, I thought we were just hitting up four. I didn't know we were hitting targets down up four. Yeah, targets down up four. Okay. How'd that feel for the up four guys? Good? Stop, it's aggressive. Yeah, aggressive, the team is quick, really hard. I mean, you may hit a guy, one or two, but if they're done right, you know, hopefully you're getting one or two hits to the best and they're smoking all of you. So yeah. I, I got I got hits from Brandon right on my on my on basically along my back on, on my armor but also on my butt cheek. Yeah, which is also uh, why which is also why uh, side plates became so huge. Yeah. Side plates side plates are massive. It's funny that they took so long to come into vogue, yeah. but the side plates are a big deal. Being 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 the number one guy, I was expecting to get lit up a lot more. But I think it's just because there's so many people coming in that fatal it funnel. Is usually, usually yeah. Usually the number one guy, if the number one guy is really fast, usually the number one guy can avoid it, and the number two guy will get hit more than the number one guy. Yeah. On a slow team, the one guy will get hit the most. On a fast team, usually two will get hit the way it is. I didn't even have time to touch fast, anyone else. You took me out fast. I'm waiting for it, so and I have to go. So, I mean... Yeah, I would really made a of that too. It's like last time I tried, I got to shoot a couple different guys, but this one is. Yeah, we're usually the last